Let us hear one of them. None, not one, no God, never was. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it this way. If there is a God, if there is a God, may he strike this audience dead. <laughs> See, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Everybody's okay. All right? Tell you what. Tell you what. I'll raise the stakes. I'll raise the stakes a little bit. If there is a God, may he strike me dead. See? Nothing happened. Oh, wait. Got a little cramp in my leg. And my balls hurt. Plus, I'm blind. I'm blind. Oh, now I'm okay again. Must have been Joe Pesci, huh? God bless Joe you Pesci. See? If there is a God, he said, let him strike the audience. You see? That is the that is the word of somebody who does not have compassion to others. And afterwards he said, if there is a God, let him strike me dead. Oh, wait for your time, man. That will come. Hebrews 9.27 says, As it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. This is what you cannot deny. What is this? Every man has his appointed time that he will die. And nobody can refute that. Let us read. The authority over death. 32, 39 of the book of Deuteronomy says, and uh, if you can dare uh, refute this, do that. What does the Bible says? See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. I kill and make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Now, you, you try to refute that. You try to belie that. That there is only one person who is, re, who is uh, over and above the power of everything that exists that can cause the death and the life of a particular creation. God said, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. I, I wound, I heal, I, I kill, and I make a life. No human being has been successful denying the existence of somebody who can take life away. Even the most famous and the best of doctors and surgeons and those authority about human life, even they themselves die to prove that there is somebody who said these words, that he is God, he kill and make alive. He wounds and he heals. It is the Lord of the Bible. It is the God that I know. And it is the God that you cannot refute. It is, not, it is a God that you cannot uh, deny. He exists. But to say that if there is a God, strike me dead. Wait for your time, man, that is coming. I hope it will be delayed, but uh, it will come sooner or later unto you. I pity you, and I pity those people clapping their hands at your uh, act of comedy. I believe that is a, a part of the great comedy of Dante. But uh, I'm sorry for you. I pity you. I will pray for you. May your, may your mind be enlightened because now I believe and I can perceive that you are in darkness. You do not even know how to answer questions. If you are faithfully answering a very honest question, you can... Uh, convince me, but you are not faithfully answering the question. The question is, how if you are wrong? Then you said, how if those believers of the great Juju of the mountains of Africa are wrong? They definitely are wrong, because what they believe in is that God. You do not, they do not believe in the real God. But if you, if you are a Christian, and you are a Christian, not by accident, but by choice, and but by, by study you became a Christian, then you are, you cannot be wrong. If your faith is based on the uh, 
source of all truth about life, and that is the Word of God in the Bible, you cannot be wrong. I believe I am right. To be a Christian is, is not the product of accident. Biblically speaking, and by experience, I can say that I am a Christian by choice. I am a Christian after due investigation. Although I was not born a Christian, I, I was brought up in a Catholic family. All my father and mother were former Catholics, and I do not believe that Catholics are Christians. The doctrine of Catholicism is against Christianity. Uh, this is a very great uh, and a very broad topic to discuss, and we will discuss it later, God willing. What are real Christians? There, there are those who say that they are Christians, but they are born Christians. It is not, it is not applicable in the biblical uh, concept that you are not born a Christian. You become a Christian because of uh, uh, faith. You become a Christian because of studying the Christian faith. Let us read the book of Acts 11, 26, it says, And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. You see, they taught people. They were instructed of the Christian doctrine. That's why they became Christians and they were called Christians in Antioch. So to be a Christian is to be taught of the Christian doctrine. And the Christian doctrine is based on the Word of God, which is the truth. 1717 reads, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy Word is truth. The basis of the Christian doctrine is the truth, and that is the Word of God. It cannot be wrong, because it came from God. He is a God that cannot lie. Thank you.